Hello you guys, welcome back to another story time. I already know that by reading the title, you're gonna be like, how did you do that? Girl, what? I'm thinking the same thing, even though I did it. <laughs> Not too much though. Let me let me just go ahead and start with setting the scene. Um, I was like 10, okay? This isn't a recent occurrence, okay? Um, I was 10. Think about childhood. Think about birthday parties. What parties were the most turnt when you were a kid, okay? Think of it, okay? When they had the pinatas. Okay, all right. When, when they sent you home with a little goodie bag. All right, all right. Nah, all of that stuff is cool. But the most lit parties was the people who had the jumpers, okay? A party that had a jumper. Oh, I was there. I wanted to go. I told my parents there was gonna be a jumper. I was there. It's like y'all. It's like y'all with alcohol these days. <laughs> Here's the problem, though, y'all. When I experienced jumpies, it was always like other people's parties. I like people who had a big backyard or people whose birthdays were at a park, whatever. Um, I had a lot of birthdays like at my house and stuff, and I had like a pretty small house. Like we would make like the garage like an area for all the kids to chill or the backyard, stuff like that. But my backyard is like very tiny. And the house I grew up in, it's like a little concrete area, like a little area for my dog. It's not no like running space, like pool, jumpy type area. So I remember my parents were asking me what I wanted for my birthday, it was fifth grade. I was like, you know, I really want a party with like a jumpy. Like, I never had a party with a jumpy, and those are so fun. I always had so much fun when I was at my cousin's house and the jumpies and stuff. And they were like, oh, we can ask um, your nanai, which is my grandma. They're like, she has enough space. Like, we'll ask her if we can do your party there. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm getting a jumpy. <laughs> and when do grandmas ever say no to you? <laughs> exactly. So <laughs> Of course, she was like, yeah, you can have it at my house. Okay, boom, my parents found a jumpy place. You know, you got to find a place. Then they got to come in and set it up. You got to give them a time. You have it rented for a certain amount of time. And then when the day's over, you got to select time for them to come pick it up, all that stuff. So, ah, I was so hype. I was inviting all my friends. I was like, there's going to be a jumpy. I know, I know, I know, I know. When I tell y'all, I was so hyped, literally. Like, I never had a jumpy at my own party. And so I was really excited. So the day comes around. The day of my party, my lit jumper turn up. <laughs> comes around, right? And so obviously, when it's a party somewhere, like, you come earlier than the other people to set up. And y'all know, especially when it's family parties, the family high key just be coming hella early too. Like, let's say the party started at one. Everybody was probably at my grandma's house by 11. Like, my cousins and stuff just cooking, helping clean up. Like, the jumpy people probably came at, what, 11? Something like that. And so, yeah, we were just chilling around the house. And I remember um, by the time the jumpy was set up, it was pumped up and all that. Um, it was still like a couple hours till the party started. So it was just me and my cousins acting up all like <laughs> we were so hyping, you know, we were just enjoying the jumpy. We gotta get the, this time. I'm sure jumpies aren't cheap, right? So I remember it was so cool. The way I remember the layout, <laughs> it was like one of those that like you went in the little curtains and then obviously that's like the main jumping thing. But then inside of the thing, you could climb up to this thing, right? You could climb up and sit in a little chamber and then you could slide out or you could just get out the way you came or you could slide out. The rope slid out. <laughs> so cool. It was so cool. So, you know, any any kids who were there, we were all just playing stuff like that. Now I don't know about Shaw, like I was in gymnastics back then and it was a jumpy and the jumpy everybody thinks they can try everything because it's a jumpy you know it's like it's free game rather than busting your ass on real floor <laughs> but i i really i really thought i was gabby douglas up in there right <laughs> the for you guys. <laughs> so i'm in there jumping right i just do a basic thing we're doing backflips we're we're doing front flips like anything kids do in there 
I've already done all the stuff. I'm like, all right. I remember I was in there too with like two like younger kids, not like my older kids. So I feel like they couldn't really understand what happened when it happened or they couldn't tell. So I'm like, I did all this stuff. All right, I'm gonna I'm do another front flip. Boom. Y'all, I go, I do a front flip. And instead of landing like straight or like on my back, I kind of land in like the curled position. I don't know if y'all can see my legs. If you do, excuse the pajama pants, but <laughs> I land, you know, so it's like my butt and the bottom of my feet hit the trampoline when I landed. And when I tell y'all, one of my feet, like this is the trampoline, this is my foot. It landed, right? Um, It is a jumpy. When I tell y'all my leg reversed right into my eye, it literally legit went boom. It was so quick. It was so quick when I landed y'all, I wasn't ready. <laughs> when I tell y'all it was so quick and fast, I'm like, like it was just like a flash. Y'all, so whatever. I opened my eyes why am i seeing double why am i seeing two visions like in the cartoons when somebody gets beat up i'm like <laughs> i'm like oh my god this is like a cartoon hallucination i'm just like i'm telling you i'm like 10 at the time and i was with like two younger kids in there so they're like toddlers they ain't see what just happened they don't care they're still jumping and so i'm just like trying to focus so hard i'm looking for the exit <laughs> I'm looking for the exit. I find the exit thing. I crawl out. I I wonder how people were looking at me too, because everybody else is still just around putting up decorations and stuff. And I'm just like, as I'm walking, because I'm really seeing double way. Like, wait, is it this way or that way? <laughs> I find the door back inside the house, and I just walk up to my mom, and I'm like, I hit my eye. <laughs> Imagine walking up to someone and telling them you just gave yourself a black eye. My mom's like, what? I'm like, I just, I did a front flip and, and my knee hit my eye and it hurts. And right now I see like two of you right now. She's like, what? Every, <laughs> everybody around is just like, what? What's wrong with her? I'm like, yeah, that's what happened. And yeah, and also mind you, y'all, it hurts like the way my knee flew into my eye, which obviously y'all, the knee is very hard. It's very hard. I don't know when it started showing, but y'all, I'm gonna put pictures in this video too. My eye was puffy. Like it was swollen. You know, you know how when people get allergic reactions, their eyelids get swollen? And imagine it just being one. Like this eye was perfectly fine and this one was all puffed up and like So my mom's just like, what? Okay, go go lay down like in your grandma's room. So I go lay down. I'm hurting. But y'all, you know how it is when you're a kid. It's your birthday. Like, I can't cry. I can't be upset. It's my birthday, y'all. I gotta open these presents and all my friends is coming in an hour. Like, like I'm really a soldier. And y'all know how kids are annoying too. So like my siblings and my cousins are just like, does it hurt? Like, how did this happen? Like, well, of course it hurts. <laughs> Like, they're all just popping in the room like, what happened to you? Because my eyes started showing stuff. Y'all, I literally think that, like, my grandma, my mom just gave me, like, some ibuprofen. I just rested in the room a little bit. But I was like, we're not about to cancel this party with the exclusive jumper. It's got to be jumping. <laughs> it's got to be jumping. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all, I laid in that room for, like, an hour. The ibuprofen helped a little bit. And then, I guess... About after an hour, my vision went from double back to normal. <laughs> I started getting up, walking around like it was getting close to one, whatever time the party started. I'm like, okay, my friends are almost here. So, you know, I'm greeting my friends, stuff like that. Y'all, I can tell. I literally should ask. <laughs> I think I still might know like a couple people to this day from that party. I literally got to be like, y'all. Be honest. Did you tell my, could you tell my eye was messed up and y'all was just ignoring it? <laughs> because y'all, I legit don't think, like, I don't even think many of my friends even said anything. Because it's like, I also iced my eye in like that downtime before they came. So I don't know, like, it looked like puffy. It didn't look like, 
crazy but it was still like obviously puffier than the other one after the ice and stuff so like i had just one eye like this but y'all i pushed through i stayed on that ibuprofen <laughs> and i honestly had a fun party like i was so determined y'all i'm telling y'all that hurt so bad like i literally think i woke up the next day with a headache obviously as you do when you get trauma to your head like it hurt but i had to push through like this is a party with a jumper and i got all these presents on the table they ain't gonna open themselves like <laughs> so i remember i just pushed through with the ibuprofen i still jumped in there best did i try a front flip again best believe i didn't I didn't and why why are people so extra too like <laughs> I literally remember my mom doing two things at this party one I remember she brought me to the jumpy when I felt better and she wanted me to show her like what I did um to get it and of course every like you know the adults thought it was so funny like girl how did your how did your knee fly into your eye I'm like I don't know so she had me demonstrate that to show her what happened because obviously she's like why you just got a black eye out of nowhere you were just playing secondly I, I I'm gonna I'm use my journal as an example y'all know when you get the birthday cards with the money in it and you're trying to ignore it and just read the nice message I remember I was opening presents I was opening gifts and I was just like I'm in fifth grade chill on my reading level okay I'm in elementary school and I, re I was just reading kind of slow and I remember my mom was like are you still seeing double <laughs> she didn't have to eat me up like that like I was seeing fine I was seeing just <laughs> she tried to humble me she tried to humble me <laughs> but yeah guys I literally just pushed through um luckily too y'all know how some kids are like really mean um at school and like would say comments and stuff like that but i'm a scorpio i'm a november baby so a lot of times like my birthday would land around thanksgiving break so i think my birthday party was literally like the weekend right before thanksgiving break so you know i had that week to heal i think when i went back to school it was normal it was a little scary y'all like y'all know how when people get black eyes it it's called a black eye for a reason because it gets dark i'm like yeah I think like the day at first it was just puffy but I feel like for a couple days it was like dark and you know they they a couple people had something to say Thanksgiving what's wrong with your eye like y'all wasn't at that party but yeah guys that was the time I gave myself a black eye 10 years old 21 now a decade ago and I still pushed through because I wanted to open them presents and I wasn't going to let my parents' jumpy money go to waste. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, I had such like a beautiful childhood with like birthday parties and a lot of great ones and stuff. But I specifically remember that one so much, obviously, because I gave myself a black eye. <laughs> but also because I was so excited to have a jumpy. So like comment right now what age was like your favorite birthday or your favorite childhood memory. I want to know. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this story time. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel because you don't want to miss more content. Y'all should follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Alicia Milan so you can keep up with my daily postings and when new YouTube videos are coming out. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of this video and I will catch y'all in the next one.